Welcome, my friends. I'm Miroslav, and today we're going to be making cannolis with puff pastry. Stay with me to the end of the video to learn how to make homemade puff pastry. If you have cannoli tubes, you can skip this step. We're going to create our own cannoli tubes. Cut the foil about half inch on each side longer than a parchment paper. Then roll up the parchment paper and then roll it into the foil. So the half inch extra foil that we have, fold it inside the each side of parchment paper to keep it together. And repeat this three more times. You can use puff pastry from the store, or I have instruction on the end of the video how to make homemade puff pastry. Start with stretching the puff pastry, then turn it and stretch it longer than the width. To be about 18 by 12 inches. I use pastry cutter, but you can use the knife. Then make first cut right in the middle, then cut each side in the center. And then again, each piece in the middle. You're gonna end up with eight even pieces. Then on the first cut, brush the egg on top, and then on the bottom, brush the egg on the other side. Wrap the strip around the cannoli tubes, overlapping slightly as you go. So the egg that we brushed on top and on the bottom keeps it together like a glue. Then repeat this seven more times. Place them on a baking sheet lined with a parchment paper and brush them with the egg wash for the beautiful golden color. Preheat oven to 360 and bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Before it's almost done baking, melt one cup of chocolate chips. Once the shells are done baking, let them cool down completely. And then we're gonna slide them off. The way you do that, pinch the top in, and sometimes even the bottom, and then gently slide it off. And if you need to, you can twist it left and right to get it out. It should slide off easy. After you get all the shells off, we're gonna dip each side into a melted chocolate. Then put them in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes to harden the chocolate. Now we're gonna start making fill. You're gonna need 300 grams of cream cheese, one third cup powdered sugar, and one third cup heavy cream. Pretty simple, take all the ingredients and mix them with the mixer on a high speed. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the easy way to add the fill to pastry bag. Take the plastic wrap, dump all the fill right in the middle of it, and then roll the plastic wrap and tighten up just one side. Then take the open side and put it in a pastry bag. And then just squeeze the fill out. Then fill each side of the shell to the top. And there you go, beautiful puff pastry cannolis. Now I'm gonna show you how to make homemade puff pastry. You're gonna need one and a half cup flour, 280 grams of frozen butter, half a teaspoon salt, half a cup ice cold water. We're gonna start by mixing salt with flour. Then before you use butter, you need to freeze it for at least one hour, and then we're gonna shred it on top of the flour. Then mix it with the spoon, and don't touch it with your hands. In the center, make the space with the spoon for ice cold water. Then add ice cold water, and I use my hand to hold the ice so it doesn't fall in. Start kneading the dough with just a spoon. Don't use your hands because your hands will melt the butter. It will take you time until it comes together and it looks like a dough. Spread some flour on your working area and quickly shape it into a cube. Cover it with the plastic wrap. Then you can tap it a little bit to make it a little bit more square and then put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. When you get it out of the fridge, again, put some flour on your working area. Then stretch it to be about quarter inch thick and about six inches wide and two feet long. and then fold the top third down and then the bottom third up and then turn it sideways and stretch it again. And then again, fold the bottom third and the top third. Then wrap it again with the plastic wrap and put it back in the fridge for another 30 minutes. And we're gonna repeat this three more times. And the fourth and the last time, we're not gonna fold it, we're just gonna stretch it to a square. The edges don't have to be perfect. Depends what recipe you're using. If you need straight edges, just cut them off. I hope you enjoy cooking with me. Please click like, and if you're new to this channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.